Hey YouTube, I'm Sharon Polk and this is Practical Tips and Tidbits from an indie author. I hope you are too. And I bet you can guess what tip 1B is. It is pre-processed writing short stories, which was so important for me. And I can't wait to share with you because if you think writing poetry was great, wait until you start writing these short stories. Now I hope you did write your poetry. I hope you enhanced your vocabulary. I hope you enhanced your creativity, got some imagery going, got in touch with your emotions and with yourself, started using some of your resource tools like your dictionary and your thesaurus. I hope it was a great experience. Now keep writing that poetry, but we're going to add short story writing to that, which is going to be amazing. The first thing it's going to do is help you to figure out your genre. Because you may not know what you're good at writing, but if you start writing these short stories, it will reveal it to you. So start writing a romance, and you might find out, hey, I'm not really a romance writer. You may start writing a thriller and find out, mm, it's not for me. Maybe sci-fi is going to be what you do. Maybe you're great at creating aliens. <laughs> but this process is going to help you. So start writing those short stories. This is tip number 1B. Simply do it write short stories. I loved writing poetry and I still write poetry but writing short stories is going to get you so much closer to writing that novel because the skills that you need to do it are so similar. It's like a little novel really right? Plot is the first thing you're going to have to do. You're going to have to come up with a plot. You're going to have to become a storyteller. You're going to have to have a beginning, have an end, and you're going to have to have all this stuff in the middle. You're going to have to have a sequence of major events that are interrelated. You have to have a plot. And if you're going to write a series, you're probably going to need a cliffhanger. Like in Hidden Secrets, it's my first book in the series, and I had to come up with a great cliffhanger at the end because you want your audience to want to read the second book. Now, even if you don't have a series, you got to come up with a great ending because I find nowadays the endings of movies and the endings of books, they kind of fall flat. You don't want to be that person. You want the beginning of the book to sing, you want the middle of the book to sing, and you want the end to sing. You want your entire book to be great. So you want to have a wonderful plot. You want to become a great storyteller. And short story writing is going to help you get to that goal. When you write short stories, you have to develop characters, and I love character profiles. It's my favorite thing to do when writing a book is to come up with people, to come up with their mental capacity, their physical, their spiritual, their emotional being. I love doing that. Let's take the character in my first book, Ruth Samuelson. This is Ruth. Meet Ruth. And she is a protagonist in my first book. And I have created her. I have breathed breath in her. And Ruth is real to me. She's a real person. They must become real people to you. When you talk about them, you have to talk about them like they're real. They have to elicit emotion out of the people that are reading your book. So they have to elicit emotion out of you. You have to believe that these are the people that you have created them to be. And the only way you can do that is if they become real to you in your head. So I can sit down and I can have a conversation with Ruth. I can sit down and I can have coffee with Ruth. I actually like Ruth a lot. I like everything about her. I like her personality traits. I like who she is physically. I like her spiritually later on in the book. I like so many things about her. But there are people in my books that I don't like. But I love them too. I love the fact that they're so evil and they're so mean. And Because you have to have the good and you have to have the bad to make the book interesting. So... Short story writing is going to help you to come up with these character profiles, to describe these people, to start thinking about people's mental capacity, to start thinking about how people are physically, you know, to start describing traits. Her eyes, like Ruth, were green, or her hair, like Ruth, is curly. You have to start thinking about who they are spiritually. Are they Buddhists? Are they Christians, like Ruth is? What are these people, and who are they? You have to start coming up with that. And short story writing is going to help you to start coming up with description and help you to be more detailed. And you need to be detail oriented if you're writing a book because you have to make your audience see 
what's in your head. Because it's not like a movie. They're not on the big screen. Your characters aren't on the big screen. They are in a book. And so you have to make the words and the descriptions of these people form a picture in their heads. Now we've talked about short story writing for plot and for character profiles. Now let's talk about the fact that these people need to be in a setting, in a situation. And you've got to get your audience to see where they are. Again, this is not a movie, this is a book. So you're going to have to write on paper. Your words are going to have to put a picture in the mind of your audience. And they need to know where these people are. Are they on a mountain? Are they in a valley? Are they on the west coast? Are they on the east coast? Are they in another country? Are they in space? Is there an alien? Is this a group of people? Are they in a cafe? Is it dark? Or is it light? Is it raining? Or is there a storm going on? All of these things you have to come up with. Um, are they in high school? Or are they in college? Or are these older people in a nursing home? You, your audience needs to know where these people are. They need to know what the plot is. They need to know the characters and they need to know what setting these characters are in. All of this you have to do with a short story as well as a novel. So short story writing is going to help you develop the skills that you need to do this on a bigger scale or on a larger scale when you start writing your actual novel. Don't forget to subscribe if you would like to be alerted when I post a video. Hit the notification bell and you will be alerted. My books are available on Amazon.com. If you are interested, there is a link below. Also below are affiliate links. If you click on the affiliate link and you buy something, I will receive a small commission. Don't forget to check out my website, NovellasbySharon.com. There's a link below for that as well. There's information on me and on my books. And don't forget to check out the next video, which is going to be tip two. Shh, I'm not going to tell you what it's about. Meanwhile, start writing the poetry, writing the short stories, and you're going to enhance all those gifts and talents that you have. Grace and peace. See you next week.